do a good job of getting that finger roll to go. And that's going to be Faith Welch driving. Passes outside and in. As well as uh, pain opportunities. And so uh, some really good aggressive defense from Corlin here to not let them get anything. And Nestler now with the ball outside to Welch. Welch drives. Now she passes it out and back. And Daniel Levine down on the point for Cortland was really fighting for that one. And Pratt will thread it in. Time running down. Shot. Dribble, so that's going to be an easy travel call there. And Bailey Pratt moves it to Raybaum. Raybaum fakes the shot. Instead passes it in. Now sets up inside, but quick to defend her. The Corlin defenders and Bailey Pratt from the corner for three. That's only going to be two, unfortunately. Her toe was a little bit on the line, but... And uh, Welch looking. She's got locks in the corner. And Brockport will... Uh, another basket, yeah. whether it's two or three before the close of the half. Look at the way Corlin's offense has been running. Four seconds. Ray Bomb likely the last shot. And she does, so Brockport down three here. 7 9 to go in the third quarter. As that's LeBaron over the top to Ray Bomb. Ray Bomb across court to Welch. And wide open is Locks for three. The ball, she moves to her left. And she's got Ray Bomb. Ray Bomb back to an Agastopoulos. Back to Ray Bomb over to the left. Faith Welch moves to her right. Shot clock at five. They need a shot. And they'll get one, and they'll get a bucket there from Faith Welch. Impressive off. Cuts this to a five-point deficit. As Brockport with the ball now. Moved it over to Pratt. And the ball gets away from Pratt. And able to get back is Lizzie Johnson. Good heads up. And the bucket, too. 